I'm Alex Punzlan, aka Alexander Jr., and I'm part of a band called Datu. I'm born and raised here in Toronto, uh, and I traveled to the Philippines to learn how to make gongs. You see, I needed to dig deeper into my roots and really find out where do they all come from? What kind of stories do they tell? I had the chance to travel with Kulintang master Danny Kalanduyan, who's originally from Cotabato, the area where we were looking for the last of the gong makers. How do you feel about hearing gongs all the time when you're eating or when you're sleeping? These gongs are a lifestyle, and it's, and it's not just for performance, it's the way that they entertain each other, the way that they just communicate. I brought my own bronze to melt out there. I even brought one of my cracked gongs to get fixed. Learn more and observe how the native practitioners of the tradition perform. And that's what you have you, you, uh, seen here. That's what you have witnessed. How they pray, how they giggle, how they uh, react with one another. that gongs have such a presence in today's society in Mindanao. And now, coming back from the Philippines, that resonates with me even more. Because I was there and understanding the people and understanding the culture and how gongs relate so much to the land and the people. It's important for me to keep this alive, to keep this going and evolving the sound, evolving the music for my kids. For them to learn that these gongs have existed in my world, whether they play with it or not, but they know that it will resonate with them, that it stands for something. They are the heartbeat of a people. And as these gongs are played within these spaces within Toronto, they know it represents a connection, a bridge between cultures. <laughs> 